Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here we are with another video for you guys today. And today is episode one of the Pirate Adventures. Welcome to Port Royal. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting down into the Pirate Adventures Episode 1, Welcome to Port Royal, after the intro, coming in here now. Here's a look at Port Royal, my Imperial base fortress in my Lego Pirates world. And it is composed of many different sets throughout all the years, but we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about each set and everything that's gone into it. We are instead be going to be telling some adventures and this is the first episode and we're going to get to know all the characters and major players that are involved in this adventure. I wanted to start with Port Royal and introduce the Imperial faction because this is the major, you know, trading post and trading port and really the epicenter of my entire pirates world and the Imperials are made up of the English Navy and the East India Trading Company very much like from Pirates of the Caribbean because Pirates of the Caribbean characters can also show up here and here's the first look at the first major player we'll see and this is Admiral Broadside he used to be the governor of the original El Dorado fortress but he has since been lowered in rank and he is now an admiral and he operates the Caribbean Clipper you see it behind him as him and his soldiers are getting ready to head out to sea and here is Admiral Broadside and like I was saying he used to be the main governor the man in charge but due to his failures with, with handling the pirates threats over the years he has been since lowered in rank from governor down to admiral but he's still a very respected officer within the imperial ranks and the Caribbean Clipper is his ship and here is a look more of the original El Dorado Fortress which Broadside used to command. Now it has a new commander as he is at sea. And you can see the Caribbean Clipper which is a reconfigured Black Seas Barracuda and here is the new commander. And here is the other side as we get some more look in at Port Royal from all the different vantage points and view angles and everything. Lots of different, you know, scenes and interesting characters all going around. You can see these guys here. Better watch out for that shark. And here's a officer out on patrol. And here's one of the main ports where a lot of the dinghies come in, you know, for the bigger ships. And, and here's the guy that commands this little port. And, and there's lots of, lots of cannons. And this, uh, this is a very difficult port to try to conquer. As you can see, these soldiers are out on patrol, marching. Everyone is very on alert, always on the lookout for pirates. And here's some merchants, because again, this is where all the merchant, you know, trading epicenter is. And we have a full-on merchants guild. 
as you can see some more look at the soldiers out on patrol doing their march very cool everyone is always ready and you know willing to defend the merchants and and be willing to uh, you know take on the pirates at a moment's notice and here is on the other side the uh, the entire port royal can be accessed from all four sides see there is the Saint Mary and the Imperial flagship and there's our Caribbean Clipper and the Ark Royal they're docked at port but we'll get more into those a little bit later and here is some of the merchants they're out doing some fishing down by the water and here is Pirate Steve he is an ex-pirate and he is the leader of the Merchants Guild and all the major trading and everything goes through him he has his own little station set up in port royal and you know all the business transactions you have to deal with pirate steve and here's his little his little station set up where people come and bring their goods and here's more look at the fishing being done by these merchants here So always lots of action and everything always going on here at Port Royal here's another look at Pirate Steve's you know tent where all of his trading and everything takes place and here's a look on the inside and again all the merchants and everything this is where all the trading epicenter is you can see this little ship is getting ready to, you know, they either load it or unload it. Uh, another, you know, order some more, uh, some more goods. And here at the trading post, they're always on the lookout and, you know, for more, you know, action and everything. There's, it's the main place where everybody goes to get their trading done is at the trading post, of course. You know, all the different areas of the port of Port Royal serve a different purpose, and you know the the trading happens mostly at the trading post. And again, here's the other look at Pirate Steve's station. You can see, and then the front side, and here is the Ark Royal, which is commanded by Captain Hector Barbosa. And he is a well-known former pirate, but after he lost the Black Pearl, he became part of the Royal Imperial Navy, and he gets to command his own ship. And better be careful, though, there's still some pirate left in Barbosa, that's for sure. And again, there's the Ark Royal, his ship, and then next to that is the Caribbean Clipper, the former original Black Seas Barracuda. You can get a look from a more aerial perspective here of everything going on. And here's another look at the Ark Royal. And here is the backside of Port Royal with all the you know, different views and everything. Like I said, all the all four sides can be accessed. So traders and pirates and everything, they have to be able to defend, you know, on all four sides. Cause you gotta protect the traders and you gotta be willing to fight off any pirate attacks at a moment's notice. And here's a look at the Imperial flagship. Over here, it's too big to come into port, so they have to, you know, drop the anchor, and then they take the dinghies up. The bigger ships, they can't make it all the way in. And the Saint Mary and the Imperial flagship are the two biggest ones. They cannot come to dock. They just have to drop anchor and take little rowboats in. And here is Captain Jean-Luc Picard. He is the captain of the Imperial flagship. And he has just been recently given that commission. 
a very prestigious honor to be in charge of the Imperial flagship. So that is a very prestigious honor for Captain Picard. And here is the Saint Mary, the most powerful warship in the entire Imperial Navy. And it is captained, or admiraled, I should say, by a very well known man. And that is, of course, Admiral Woodhouse. He is one of the most powerful and notorious pirate hunters out there. And his ship, the Saint Mary, are feared by many a pirate and he is always ready and willing to take on a pirate threat a little bit look more at the saint mary again the most powerful warship in the imperial navy and here is the admiral's daughter she she is the daughter of the high admiral of the imperial navy and she is a very fun loving young lady likes to have a good time hence by you know the drink she's got in her hand and here is the high admiral of the imperial navy and he is stationed on the imperial trading post so he's kind of in charge of all the trading that is going on and he is the highest admiral in the entire Imperial Navy so even Admiral Woodhouse has to report to him from time to time and here we can see there's a little celebration going on this is the area of Port Royal where a lot of the parties and the exclusive you know people get to go to very you know high life and high society very special by request only make it up here and here is Lord Beckett's daughter and she is the daughter of Lord Beckett who is the new man in charge of Port Royal and she is a very interesting character we'll be seeing more of her and here is Lord Beckett himself he is the man in charge of the entire Port Royal and he is a little bit of a scoundrel you gotta be careful about Lord Cutler Beckett you never know what uh, trouble he's going to be causing and he uses his power and might at a moment's notice and here is his wife and she is you know she's definitely another high society lady and very much always looking to have a party or a ball and tends to be the life of the party that's kind of her role here and here is Lord Cutler Beckett's office and then here's a look here at this other side of the port always see some soldiers out on a march and here is the backside all the different action and everything that is always going on here like I said, lots of cannons, lots of protection. And here is another uh, officer having a little drink in his little station. Well, there it is, folks. That is episode one of the Pirate Adventures. Welcome to Port Royal. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be continuing the story and making new scenes progressing things as we go along so stay tuned for that if you have any ideas on where you'd like the story to go put it down in the comment section well there it is everyone thanks for watching i really appreciate it hit the like on the way out thanks everybody hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you you can get it right here you got everything you want some mikey j stuff we got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.